Right, new post by Ubisoft. I look awful right now. We told you last week that we'd be sharing more details on our player protection strategy. Here's an update on player protection. Mousetrap update. Uh, QB? What is that? I, don't, I can't remember what that means again. Data bans and more, right? Let's just click it and see what it says. I just got absolute flashbang, by the way. Bro, I look like I've just hit a yin candela. Look at me. There we go. That's better. That's better. Okay, current cheating landscape. Today, we'll share what our player protection team is doing to reinforce our anti-cheat and security systems in order to protect the player experience. We recently acknowledged the increased frustration that players have felt lately regarding cheating. It's clear that the landscape of cheating in Siege is evolving. For example, the QB system on PC directly impacting cheat creation by making the cheats more difficult to create. It's been extremely successful in shaking up the cheating ecosystem, with some cheat providers leaving or shutting down. However, new solutions and additional security measures can often act as a double-edged sword. We deter less experienced cheat makers, but those that are well implanted will work harder to release new functional and detectable cheats. This is why fighting cheats is a continuous endeavor. Okay, okay. Uh, we've now made a concentrated push to guarantee the necessary resources that Siege needs, and as part of this, we have created a special task force. We call this task force our strike team, supporting player protection with anti-cheat and security in Siege. This strike team has brought experts from multiple fields together in order to accelerate our ability to fine-tune our anti-cheat solutions and target the most prolific cheats head-on. Right, preventing cheat features and, and exploits. We know that there are undetected cheats and gameplay exploits currently live in the game which are leading to deteriorated gameplay experiences. This is why we've implemented a strike team to tackle some of the most problematic cheats and exploits currently working in the game. It's crucial, however, that we do not only react to cheats, but also work to make cheat creation more difficult. And to this end, our strike team has been working on adding further encryptions throughout the game. Right, cheats addressed. We've addressed a number of cheats over the recent months with updates going live in year 8 season 4.3. That was the patch that just came out. Uh, Jack, you see this? It's crazy. All right, ad addressed cheats and exploits. Various navigation cheats, various shooting related cheats, various griefing cheats, and various drone related cheats. As well as this, we've identified a prevalent cheat provider which led to a large ban wage and contributed to over 9,000 cheaters banned in January and 10,000 banned within a rolling 30 day period. Uh, what's more stuff about Mousetrap? Right, let's keep reading. Uh, let's take a look at some of our anti-cheat and security systems and how they're working for us now and what we're doing moving forward. To start with, we want to assure you that our anti-cheat solutions are always active and are only ever temporarily disabled to resolve issues which could affect our ability to protect legitimate players. Once resolved, the affected systems is then reactivated. We do not deactivate our security or anti-cheat measures such as the QB system or mousetrap for any prolonged amount of time, with Battlelight always remaining active. Right, mousetrap. They have a thing about mousetrap, a huge bit about mousetrap. Right, so first bit is about workarounds. In year 8, we fixed a number of workarounds that were enabling spoofers to avoid or reduce their chances of detection. Though we are aware that some players are still able to avoid the full effects of our system, we are working harder to counter these remaining workarounds, and we are confident that you'll see further reductions in spoofing soon. Mousetrap update, very nice. Effectiveness. Mousetrap continues to find, track, and penalize players who use mouse and keyboard on console through the use of spoofing devices and has remained active and effective throughout year 8. The usage of spoofing devices, which saw a drop on the release of Mousetrap, has continued to trend at this lower rate since its release. Our data also shows that players do swap to controller if viable, Mousetrap workarounds are not available, making a better experience for everyone. I guess that's their way of justifying why they don't ban them. I look sweaty as shit, by the way. I'm not even sweating, chat. What is this? Um, Mousetrap updates. We are currently investigating new solutions to detect more types of spiffing adapters, and we've recently pushed an update to Mousetrap to further increase its effectiveness while ramping up its effects. In this update, we have optimized our detection threshold to identify more mouse and keyboard players on console and fine-tuned maximum latency penalties, setting for the remainder of the season. These changes will allow Mousetrap to detect even more players who are using the Mousetrap keyboard and mouse who are using mouse and keyboard on console. I mean, while adding higher latency sooner. As well as this, we are currently implementing additional in-game warning feedback for detected players, and are developing an additional Mousetrap feature which will help to further level out the playing field. This feature will have a further positive impact on the match-to-match -match experience of console players. We will share more information on this important update during Sips Invitational. Okay, so we have to wait till. SI for a little bit more there. 
uh, QB system. At its core, the purpose of the QB system is to make cheat creation more tedious, difficult, and costly, creating an unfavorable environment for cheat creators and sellers. QB is also beneficial when it comes to bans, having the ability to detect those who attempt to bypass it. We've already seen cheat creators give up on Siege due to the increased effort that is now required to make basic cheat development. It made waves in the cheat market while having a great impact on Siege. Interesting. Uh, after the successful launch of the QB system, however, it became clear that we did not have the right long-term support for, that, for it in place that was required to ensure the system continued effectiveness. We have now changed our approach and have committed to regular updates of the QB system going forward. Okay, that's good to hear. We are now developing new iterations which will be coming year 9, and in the meantime, we continue to fine-tune and further strengthen this innovative security system. QB is a solid system for Siege, and we're making sure it's receiving the resources needed in order to maximize its performance. We're excited to share more information on our advancements with the QB system later in the year. This is a long, it's a long document. Uh, next is bands, data bands, and battle eye. Uh, got a bit of band numbers. Here we have our latest data bands covering the last few months. They've already talked about this, you know, 10,000, roughly 9,000. We can skim over this bit. Since their introduction, data bands have been great success for Siege, finding illegitimate players that weren't already being found by our systems working at the forefront. However, we fully recognize that there is room for improvement, with some high stat cheaters remaining undetected. This is true, because I see this all the time. Our goal with data bands is to ensure that we can find as many cheaters as possible whilst continuing to protect our honest players. At the moment, we are, we are working to refine our data models by making use of additional player data points. This process will result in more granular player overview, allowing us to increase the precision of the underlying system and in return boost its potency. As we continue to optimize, we'll be able to adjust our thresholds, casting a wider net with full confidence and finding and banning more cheaters that may have gone undetected. Uh, there's so much more data to come on data bands. We're also currently developing a machine learning solution which will aim to broaden our ability to detect cheaters in Siege. Damn, so they're using, like, AI. They're going to start using AI for anti-cheat. That's actually really good. Um, Battle Eye. Uh, Battle Eye is a system that makes up most of our cheater bands. Like our other forms of anti-cheat, Battle Eye is never turned off, remaining active at all times, finding and banning thousands of cheaters each month. As some of you may have noticed, in-game mentions of Battle Eye have been removed. This change is to make sure that cheaters aren't getting information on how or what they were detected by. Even minor details such as mentioning of a ban system can play a role in the creation of new and undetectable cheats. This small change will help in reducing the chances of our anti-cheat systems being bypassed by cheaters and cheat makers. This is a massive document. Concluding our plans and vision, we know that cheaters have a big impact on Siege and everyone's enjoyment of the game, which is why we're boosting our anti-cheat resources. We already have results for this in January and have much more to come. We are focused on strengthening our anti-cheat tools, tackling current high-impact cheats, and ultimately giving players the experience they log on for. Make sure to watch 6 Invitational uh, for Year 9 Season 1 and Year 9 reveals on Saturday, February 24th and Sunday 25th for further information. So we're going to learn more at SI, and there's the dates for it. 24th and 25th. I'll be live here on Twitch chat um, if you guys want to watch this. But big document. Um, you know, mouse chat update is something. Mouse chat? Mouse trap update was something a lot of people probably weren't expecting. I think they thought it was only going to be uh, PC. But um, that's a lot of stuff. Very interesting. Let me know your thoughts, everyone. This is huge. I can't wait for SI to learn more. They seem to be finally taking cheating seriously. So let's see how it goes.